Uh, this uh, NFL, obviously a big pass league. Uh, it, it's been that way the last several years. But on Monday, the Carolina Panthers signed uh, Christian McCaffrey to a four-year, $64 million extension, making him the highest paid running back. Uh, let's take a look at that. These are the highest paid guys, uh, one through five. McCaffrey, Ezekiel Elliott, Le'Veon Bell, David Johnson, and uh, uh, Derek, uh, Derek Henry. And uh, Nick Chubb is, is not in the top five, but I'll take him over just about anybody on that list. He's entering the third year of a four-year, $7.4 million contract, projected to make uh, 1.15 mil in 2020 and 1.49 in 2021, and he becomes an unrestricted free agent in 2022. Here's the comparison between the two. Uh, let's uh, take a look. You've got uh, the rushes. Uh, the carries are about even. Uh, not not too much difference. Less a little more than 100 yards in rush yards in favor of Chubb. Chubb was the second leading rusher in the league behind uh, Henry. And uh, 15 touchdowns for McCaffrey, just eight for Chubb. Receptions. Look at that. 116 versus 36 receiving yards. 1,005 out of the backfield against 278 and four receiving touchdowns for McCaffrey and Chubb uh, with none. But that had more to do with the system than it had with anything else. Which one would you want? You're starting a team today. You want McCaffrey or you want Chubb? Well, I'm biased because I watched Nick Chubb just look so good. So I'll take Chubb, but that's not a knock at all on, uh, on McCaffrey because McCaffrey's a special player. I will say this. I don't, I don't know that I comp Chubb and McCaffrey. Uh, they're different types of players, even though they have the, you know, the running back next to their name. McCaffrey's more of a Swiss Army knife, dual threat with the receiving and the rushing. I don't know that anybody's ever going to mistake Chubb for, you know, a, a pass-catching running back. If I were Chubb, I would, though, get to the pay window or at least – have my reps go to the Browns and go, hey, let's start this thing because, number one, running backs have a short shelf life to begin with. Number two, um, you know, I want to see, for example, you know, if I'm representing Chubb, I want a Todd Gurley-type contract. And well, you, you also have a situation where you've, you've got uh, uh, Kareem Hunt uh, along, with, uh, uh, along with Chubb, and I'm not sure that uh, the second threat on Carolina is anything close to what uh, – Hunt is. That's true. And to me, if you're the reps for Chubb, you do want to strike now if you can because of what you said. You know, it's possible that Hunt takes away some of Chubb's numbers now that Hunt has a full offseason to get ready to play for the Browns. So, listen, in my, my feeling with running backs in the NFL less is – if you have a dominant season, just one, you rush to the pay window and try to get paid as much as you can. I don't care what your contract status is. Yeah. If you can, you got to parlay even one really good season. And we know his rookie year was what, 996? Yeah. He had the carry against the Ravens and knocked them below 1,000. So really, he's had a good year and a great year. That's enough to want to get paid handsomely. Yeah, because uh, not a lot of shelf life uh, in, as far as running game, running backs are concerned. 